Another thing I don't like hmm. are home intruders. That's scary. That is scary. Yeah, don't go into my house. I don't like that. I don't like Poppins to begin with. I don't like Poppins either. And then just when someone's like, oh, I'm going to come kill you. I'm like, really right now? So which one is worse? A pop-in for a <laughs> visit or a pop-in like, oh, I'm going to come kill you? I don't, they're both pretty bad. So here's the thing I don't understand about Poppins. The, the non-killing kind. Who in their own life says, oh, do you know who wants to see me right now? <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to call. I'm not going to text. Not until I'm right outside their door. Because you know what? They probably aren't doing anything. And they probably are be so excited when I come up to the door. What kind of bees does someone have to have <laughs> to think that? I don't know, right? It is so weird. I do hate it when they're like, hey, I'm in town. I'm going to stop by. No, no, you're not. No. No, you're not. Like, and I'm like, why? What's wrong? I didn't know that you were... I don't have to have a reason. You know where that logic works is like a restaurant. Hey, I'm in town. I'm going to stop in your restaurant. Sure. That's how we... That, we're <laughs> Go waiting. To my store. We're waiting. Uh, yeah, Meyer. Mm -hmm. Sure, pop on in. Come get a rotisserie chicken. Yes. You know where that doesn't work? My house. <laughs> you know they have like those welcome mats? They should have a mat that says, unless you called a week ago to plan this, turn around and get off my porch. <laughs> yes, it must be planned. So, um, my name is David. This is Kira. And welcome to thewhiskeychannel.com. And today <laughs> we are talking about... Rude people. Okay, what are we talking about? And today we are talking about five... Shelf turds you need. Yeah, said it. We're going back to basics, people. So, uh, people have been saying a couple things. They've been saying that we've been going a little bougie. Yeah, well, it's, that's rude. I already told you I don't like Eagle Rare. I don't understand. What else do you want from me? I already told you I don't like Worstford Reserve. Any of it. Mm -mm. I, think, I think we do have a very particular flavor profile that we like. Mm -hmm. And certain things fall out of that. We don't like any scotch. No. We don't like like triple pot still Woodford Reserve. We I think a, a pretty particular flavor profile we have been getting into some nicer bottles over the last year or two, but it doesn't mean we don't have the regular stuff around because we do. So five shelf turrets you need in your bar, part one. Oh, it's a two-parter. We're making more than one of these. Yeah, you little bitches. So stop complaining about how uncool we are. Or wait, no, how too cool we are. Part one, the shelf turds that you need in your bar starts with one of my absolute favorites, Fighting Cock. Fighting Cock, a Heaven Hill product. I believe it might still be six year, I don't think a six year age stated, but I believe it's supposed to be six years old. 103 proof. It is phenomenal. It is good. We'll it's do... great. I mean, you know, the bottle looks very chintzy. I mean, the sticker, some kid printed it on his at home printer maker, sticker maker thingy. I'm putting it next to your face, I'm gonna zoom in on it. Why? What no, it's just gonna be cute. Oh. All right, what are your, uh, what it's are your It's gonna old... be cute? It's gonna be cute, yeah. <laughs> what are your old, old, old noters on the Ooh, old fighting cock? Oh, it's a little uh, old rotten grape. Oh, okay. This is going really well for- Oh, it's good. I love old rotten grapes. Have you ever had one? You mean wine? You mean raisins. It's um, a box of raisins right here, actually. I'm more of a craisin man myself. <sighs> yep, that's good. And then it has like this. What's that, Mr. Good Bar? The peanut butter, but you know how like are the peanuts in a Mr. Good Bar with the crappiest chocolate? It's not the best, you know, the little minis bag, but you eat it. That's what that tastes like, and it's still really good. Such a solid. <laughs> To me, that is Heaven Hill Profile, right? Down around 100 proof. I'm gonna say this. A bottle that is gonna appear in just a couple of minutes, that's also 100 proofer, that is a Kira favorite, I would take Fighting Cock over that aforementioned white labeled bottle any day of the week. Number two on shelf turrets that you need to have. Kira, what do you know about this little bottle right here? Oh, it's my fave. This is what my, uh. My first love, shall we say, 
My Evan Williams White Label. Is it called, do we, are we the only ones that call it White Label? I think we're the only ones brave enough in today's society to actually refer to this as White Label. <laughs> but that's the, what the color is, okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I right. love this one. This is what made me fall in love to this brand new world of whiskey. It really is. This was the bottle that uh, really began to win Kira over and then Pikesville Rye put her over the top. And then that was all the, a year or two prior to us starting this channel. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. So a longtime favorite Oof. of Kira's. Uh, for a, well, you I, can tell it's just been opened. It, it's a little bit of a fresh crack, although I will say this, I think it does drink a little hotter than Fighting Cock. My foyer into bourbon was actually Evan Williams, the regular old one, the black label, the cheap one. I used to drink that. And the first time I tasted this, I was blown away by what so an extra good. $6 could accomplish. That is so great. The best $6 I've ever spent going from black label to white label. All right, so you said you wanted to do Fighting Cock over yeah. Evan Williams. Uh-uh, try it. So I, like I said earlier, Mr. Goodbar is Fighting Cock. Evan Williams is like if Mr. Goodbar was made in a Milky Way. So I'll say this. <sighs> I still like the Fighting Cock better. The Fighting Cock to me has a little bit more of a of an aged flavor profile. Doesn't taste as young as Evan Williams Bald and Bond does. Has a little bit more of that barrel dark, that dark, um. It ha it's that oaky. It's that oaky, cardboard. darker flavor profile. Not that it's something extremely complex, but it's basically the, the same ish product aged a little bit longer. And to me, maybe it's the air in the bottle. I like that darker flavor profile and it does taste a little smoother, if I can say the words. I thought these were shelters to have near bar, not. Fighting shelters. I didn't realize this was a bracket <laughs> game. Fighting cock to me, and I'm looking at my little flavor board because you know I'm bad at shit. It comes across as woody, toasty, and vanilla-y. All those kind of things. A little bit older, a little bit more mature, a little bit more of that vanilla profile in there. I agree with you that nougat mm -hmm. on Evan Wayne's White Label. Agree. Yes. 100%. Yes, for sure. Oh, I love it. I like my Evan Williams obviously better than... Fighting Cock. Fighting sure. Cock is too much of that oak that I'm not like a huge fan of, but oh, that's great. I like it. They're both good. All right, so those are the first two shelf turds you must have. Kira, are you ready? For mo? For mo. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Ho for show. So, <laughs> so we live in Michigan where there is not a great selection of shit around. Okay? There's lots of shit, but no good shit. But this next bottle I'm going to bring forward is everywhere. Now, I'm going to bring forward a store pick of it. Okay. But this non-store pick is freaking everywhere. Jack Daniels Single Barrel, the 94 Proofer. Mm -hmm. This is dang good. Huge difference from old number seven. Huge difference from anything a step below it. Yes. And again, this is one of those things that if you put it into a blind, it's going to perform better than you think it's going to. Is this the shelf turd, though? It, these are everywhere. Okay, so, how much is this bottle? This is like 42, 45. And wow, this is a bougie shelf turd. And but the thing about the shelf turd is to me it's it's always on the shelf. Yeah. These days, I mean, these things are eight, nine deep at the local Meyer constantly. They're at Kroger. They're everywhere. In Michigan. Mm-hmm. They not have the packy store. Not like a Louisville Kroger that has like old Carter on this shelf. Like a Michigan Kroger. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh, that's yummy. Mm hmm Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love in my tummy. Do you remember that song? No, what's that from? The seventies or something. Oh. That's good. It's a little warmish, and you can definitely tell it's Tennessee, because we were just drinking Evan Williams. Um, what else can I say about it? It's got this like metallic strawberry to it. Yeah, I can see that. But for something that's readily available, and if you don't have to have that bourbon profile, it's, it's all over the place. It's a great pour. For sure. Hope for sure. Hope for sure. <laughs> I am not sure what that means. <laughs> it's from 40 Old Virgin. She goes, and you wrote ho for show. And he goes, mm-hmm, I wrote that. <laughs> and obviously he didn't. Well, I hope you got a big trunk. <laughs> Put my bike in it. hey <laughs> What else should I talk about to this one? I should say, you know what? When you want to impress somebody, but you don't want to spend a lot of money to do it, 
This Jack Daniels, they'll pull it out and they'll be like, I'm not doing that. I hate Jack Daniels. I got sick on it at spring break or something. But why do they sound like that? Because they're freaking morons. That's oh, why. Okay. You're an idiot. I don't know why you're trying to impress an idiot, but you are for some reason. Do you know what impresses people though? Like for, for sure? What? Faux sure. Ho for show? Ho for show. What? Short bottles with things on them. For some reason. That impresses the shit out of people. You know, I actually don't like this. No, it's clanky. If I'm trying to sneak a drink and trying to tell you I haven't drank all day, but I'm trying to sneak this drink, guess what? Yeah, I don't like it. You hear it. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, you didn't drink today? And I'm like, no, it's a ghost. No for show. No for show. I got like a walnut in here. Like Did a you? fresh cracked squirrel walnut. Some squirrel's nuts. Here, smell it and, and think of squirrels. No thanks. Just try, it'll be fun. You know what's fun? Smelling a squirrel's nuts. In well, like the ones they hold. Maybe that's why people pop over. <laughs> because we have so much fun with just everyday things. Exactly. They're like, you know what I'm bored. Let me go over and have them entertain me. Maybe really? I'll say something about someone's farts or nuts. <laughs> Alright, so there are two left here. Mmm, only two. In, in part one. There's a whole other part coming. You need to this is a shopping list for this you. This is like Stranger Things Volume 1. Stranger Things Volume 2. So this one is always on the shelf, either the bourbon or the American whiskey. It's about $41 here in Michigan, and I think I think it's passed over because it's a lower proof. It is. Right now we have the American whiskey in my hand. I also really like the bourbon. It's Michter's US1. <gasps> Michter's! So uh, the American whiskey is phenomenal. I, I actually think I like the bourbon a little bit better. I like the bourbon better too. This American whiskey of Michter's is you, I don't know what is up with it, but it tastes American. It's like, uh oh. What does uh, American taste <laughs> it's like? Like a hot dog. And it's like, damn it, this is the best we can do. But it is a hot dog, so it's pretty freaking delicious. Oh, this smells really, really sweet. Right when you open up a package of sweet tarts, you know, like the rolls. Yeah. You know, you get them at school. And I was like, why the fuck did my teacher give me this candy? This candy sucks, but you eat it anyway. That's what it smells like. It's very American. It's got this like cocoa bean, co like coffee, cocoa bean burnt coffee at the bottom of a coffee pot taste. But I love burnt coffee. Coffee, chocolate, vanilla. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's pretty good. What is the proof on this thing? 90. Uh, this is an 83.4 oh. proofer. Wow, I we forgot. We have a little bit of licorice too. I like forgot how licorice. good that was. Okay, you if you don't have this, go get this. Go get it. If you're gonna get tin cup, don't. Here, let me put it next to your face again. Oh. Hooray for me! Hope a show. <laughs> Last, <laughs> but certainly not least, in part one. You already know what's coming. Wild Turkey 101. If you do not have this, if you pass this up, if you if this still has that bad stigma about it because of college for you and everybody's like, oh, wild turkey, you're dumb. Just move past it. You know this what is I great. love about Wild Turkey? Hmm. So one of my favorite movies, Death Proof, where Quentin Tarantino gives all the girls a round of wild turkey. And I was like, oh, no, don't do that. And I'm like, oh, that was pretty freaking amazing. But it has that, that, that reputation. It does. That college reputation. It's cheap. It's 101 proof. Remember back when we thought 101 proof was high? Yeah. Like that. But no, uh, Wild Turkey, everything that they put out, everything that the, the Russells put out, everything Wild Turkey puts out is great. Mm -hmm. 101? Is there a better bottle for $25? Mm -mm -mm. Evan Williams. Ooh, no. Ooh, no, that's good. Not. Ooh, that's good. That's a roasted Spanish nut. The oh red my ones. Gosh. When you go to like an old school ice cream shop and they put like nuts on your sundae, yeah. it's not the chopped up, it's the Spanish nuts with the little peel on, the, on oh, them. I'm following you 100%. Which are good. This is, these are still five that if you don't have them in your bar, write them down, go to your local Meyer and buy them. Go get them. If you don't have a local Meyer, you live in the wrong area of the country, relocate towards a Meyer, then go to the local Meyer and buy them. Keep saying that. Oh, for sure. Yes. <laughs> or I guess you go to Publix or Pubix. Pubix or whatever. Piggly Wiggly. I mean, Costco's got this stuff. Just go get it. It's good. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. Well, on that note, how about you? Uh, <laughs> why don't you close the show? 
Okay, here you have it. You have got five shelf turds that you must have in your bar. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. These are perfect and they are what? Like money money wise a good thing? Yeah. To do. Just do it. You're not you're not missing out on anything. Four gate who cares? All right? You got your Evan Williams belt and bomb. That's all you need. Oh man. All right. So uh, there's a whole another one of these coming. As if you really want to see this again. But but like, comment, subscribe. You can see the next one. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on the Whiskey Channel. Come. <laughs> the hottest one here is Evan Wayne's Bottle. No, it isn't. 100%. The hottest drinking one here is Evan Wayne's Bottle. I think you just have uh, no uh, hair on your chest. Probably. I have three or four Am very, right? very long ones. No. Nope. You know what's strange? I actually have this one really thick hair in my nose. It grows from up here, and it grows out. So if I don't keep an eye on it, there's actually been times where like, in my younger years when I was less aware of this issue, I would blow my nose, like just like a random, as one does. <laughs> and throw away the clinics and then walk around them, and the hair would be curled out and around, almost like a nose ring. Like it had grown that long. It's a super thick, dark black hair. I've never seen it. Because I figured that out before you and I started dating, and now I watch for it, and I snip it. I have those little nose clippers. It's super thick and dark. That's gross, David. It's super messed up looking, yeah. <laughs> it is It is not something that I'm I- I'm very happy I've never seen it. This, these are my first sips of whiskey of the day. So as Oh I, wow, you're way far behind. <laughs> How much I, I woke up today and I was like, hmm, so I deserve a vacation. You deserve a vacation? A vacation in my head. Vacation from my problems. <laughs> well, your your standard mill runners, right? There, what? There are mill runners? Yeah, standard mill runners. Does a, does a mill run on runners? I thought it, like water would come through the mill and the That's mill. That's the runner. That's the water. You don't call it a a mill water. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, well, what about a marathon runner? Like when you said runner, I thought marathon runner. No. Why would I ever run a marathon? Not you. <laughs> Who would ever run a marathon for fun? You know, runners from Kenya. <laughs> Is calling them Kenyan racist? It might be these days. You, oh, you just never know. You never know. Just don't even say anything. Yeah. Just be like. We already. Well, we know the same. That already happened with Mexico. So it could have happened with Kenya too. You so do know. you call people from New Mexico New Mexicans? <laughs> yeah, I do actually. <laughs> like we're Michiganders. And we're There's old Michiganders. Ohioans. What else is there? Uh, the New Yorkers. You do call them New Yorkers. New Yorkers. So you would call them New Mexicans. New Mexicans, I think. Yeah. New Jersey. New, New Jerseyans. Jersey. Are you sure? Yeah, New Jerseyans. I... Well, here's the thing. Where's Old Jersey? No, I don't remember. It's from that. Beetlejuice, and he when Alec Baldwin is reading, he's like, "Draw a door," and then he draws, and then they stand back, and she looks at him like, "What the fuck?" He goes, "Oh, yeah." He draws a doorknob. Do you want to know what's bad about being a Baldwin? Nothing. Literally, <laughs> he looked good then. He looks good now. Uh -huh. He was a good actor then. He's a good actor now. <laughs> Do you remember when um was it New Year's Eve when our party and I had New Year's Eve bingo, and I had someone says nuts or something, and you would have to mark it on your bingo card. Or, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, remember that. That was fun. But it was highly inappropriate. And some people who came over weren't very happy about it. <laughs> yeah, they were like, it should like, only... I am not playing. It should only be funny if it's about small farming. If it's about Jesus, we're not laughing. Like, you know what it takes a long time to plow a field? When you do it by hand. <laughs> What's the price of copper these days, huh? Huh? Turn up the music. Oh, wrong way. Is what? there so much lipstick on it? It's really gross. So, what, what song are you singing? Lizzo. Can you do a harmonica version of it? No, I just told you, mine. It's all, it's all gross. You just did it though. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Can we clean it off real quick and then you can do it? I, uh, I regret it. All right, let's get this show on the road.